Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. Welcome to Chit Chat with QT. The views that I express are my own personal opinions and reactions for research and commentary, and everything is alleged. Join me while I discuss hot topics, reality TV, celebrity news, and more. Please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. So let's get into this quick video, guys. Destiny has involved Sheree Whitfield in some of her mess. So Destiny called herself clapping back at Mel with the video of her and LaBeric when they were on Love and Marriage Huntsville together. And she tagged Sheree in the comments. And people on social media has noticed that since she was tagged, Sheree unfollowed Martell Holt on Instagram. Take a look at the video that Destiny posted and then I'll read a few of the tweets and I'll be back at the end with the little commentary. I've known Destiny since high school and LaBerry since we were four or five years old. So Destiny put, do facts even matter anymore? And I'm sure this was in response to Mel saying that when she was married to Martel, she didn't know that they were such close friends. And then somebody asked Destiny, why did you play the recording of Mel's interview to Martel at his wine launch? And how many times did you go back and tell Martel things that Mel shared with you? That's the real issue. Put the shoe on the other foot. How would you feel if Mel went back and told LB things? Destiny stated, it was a part of my job. If I didn't participate in the story, then how would y'all? This next person said, so it was for a storyline and not to create more discord between Mel and her ex in their already volatile relationship. And were you calling him at 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning? Not that Mel cares, but that wasn't answered last night. Somebody else said, so she is admitting to being messy for a storyline. This next person put, why were you calling Martel at 1 a.m. and 5 a.m.? Do you have receipts for that? It's giving 1 a.m. I'm on my way and 5 a.m. I made it home. We want to know. And this is where Destiny involves Sheree. She put ask and she tagged, I am Sheree. She knows why the calls were happening. My niece and I had just left her house after playing cards and hanging out. Omitted information. Now, Destiny know damn well she should not have tagged Sheree in a post. This is about you, Destiny. My goodness. And it seems like she has more respect for Sheree than she did for his ex-wife and her ex-BFF. Ask Sheree. She knows why the calls were happening. This person put, what she said was, I didn't know Destiny and Martell were such good friends to be having certain conversations. LaBeric and Martell are friends since five. He said he knew you in high school. That doesn't equal a close friendship with you, Destiny. Shaking my head. This person said, now, the facts are out about Mel giving you six bands. Pay Mel back. Obviously, you couldn't get it from Letitia and Martell. You couldn't even afford to refuse her offer. And then this person actually dropped some receipts. It was a clip from when Destiny was on Ooh Ladies First on YouTube. And they put, from your own mouth, y'all didn't go to the same high school, but knew of each other through mutual people because y'all were popular in a small town. The how you phrased it is that we knew each other vicariously. And I'm gonna go back and watch that video because I remember Destiny saying something to that extent. And that's what I really think it is. I think that they both went to different high schools when they 
reconnected because of LeBaric. They started talking to say, hey, I went to this school. What school did you go to? And so forth. I do not think that Destiny and Martell are these childhood friends. I also don't think that Destiny's father dated Martell's mother because that was mentioned before and we haven't heard anything else of it since. And if her father dated Martell's mother, then they would be able to prove some sort of history from when they were younger. Somebody else said, is it true she didn't find this out until after filming? In her and Carlos's live, Carlos stated Mel didn't know you before you filmed together. Was Carlos lying? And that's another thing that I'm gonna research since the show is now off to try to put some pieces together. Now, I'm not sure which live it was of Carlos, but I'm sure I can do a little searching and find that video on YouTube. This person put, no friend is calling at one or five in the morning unless it's an emergency. You didn't deny calling at that time, only responding in a defense mode with how you know that happened. You hacked the phone. Sounds factual. We can include you have known of him since high school. Next person said, just because I know a man for 20 years, the moment his wife and I become besties, he is second to her regardless. And I totally agree with that. Girl code. You guys see how Martel will not go against bro code when it comes to Marceau and Maurice. And Destiny needs to learn the definition of girl code. It's just some things that you don't do even if you guys are still friends or not. There is a such thing as girl code and Destiny has been making idle threats and threatening to spread Mel's business and all of that since Mel stopped talking to her. And this is the last comment that I'm gonna read guys. This person put, at the end of the day, you have a horrible stank attitude and you need to be fired. Melody and Martell put you on. You gave Melody your ass to kiss and she handed it back. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. And guys, I did go to Sheree's Instagram page just to see if what the people are saying is true. And she is not following Martell Holt anymore. And he is not following her anymore. So according to a couple different people on Instagram, this happened after Destiny's tweet. As far as her tagging Sheree in the tweet, I'm not sure of the timeline, but I do know that Sheree was at one point following Martell and Martell was following Sheree. As you can see, she still has the pictures from when Martell celebrated her birthday but yeah, that was wrong of Destiny to do because this can bring unwanted drama to Sheree. So yeah, Destiny needs to learn how to fight her own battles, if you will, and stop linking up with people or trying to get them involved in something that only has to do with you. Same thing happened with Tisha, in my opinion, because I do think that had that not happened with Destiny, Mel and Tisha would be on a different path as far as them being cordial with each other. We saw that in Destin, Florida. So this is a hot mess. You guys drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about it. Do you think that it was okay for Destiny to tag Sheree in her post? Or do you think that she was wrong like I do? So drop down, guys. Let's chit chat about it. Please also make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.